A DAW is a digital audio workstation. This is the quintessential, if you're familiar with like recording to tape or recording to a cassette, this is where all of our music is going to be recorded to. But this is a finished product. So a digital audio workstation allows us to record audio onto the computer and then we can go through and we can mix that audio. We can manipulate it so that some things are quieter, some things are louder. And to just make it as rudimentary as possible, that's essentially what we're doing when we're mixing. We're turning certain things up. We're turning something down. If I take this track or this song and I hit play and I start manipulating the audio, you'll notice that I can make things solo. I can solo out a track. I can mute certain things. I can just delete it entirely. Let me just really mess around and mess this thing up. So as this is playing, me to death. so there's a lead vocal track. I can mute it. Final. I can solo it. I'll find your mercy at the cross. I can highlight just the drums. And if you said, okay, that snare drum's too loud, let's grab the snare tracks, turn them down. Okay, case and point, uh, we'll get a little bit into this much later, but a digital audio workstation is basically the home base for when we're recording and editing music. The software I highly recommend, of course, as I've been speaking this whole time, is PreSonus Studio One. If you're going through the gear recommendations that I did earlier, the PreSonus AudioBox 96, it is $89 and it comes with a free copy of the artist version of PreSonus Studio One. The artist version is gonna limit you to, I believe, 24 tracks, and then there's a certain length that you have to stay in. So if you're recording an hour long podcast, if you're recording more than 24 tracks, you might need to look into the professional version of the software, or you can go the subscription route. But in general, this is the final product of what a song recorded in PreSonus Studio One might look like. You can go as advanced as you want to, okay? So that is our introduction to what is a DAW. There are several DAWs out there. Like I mentioned, guitar, uh, GarageBand. If you have a MacBook, it should have come with a free version of GarageBand already. If you have an iPad, it comes with GarageBand as well. I think nowadays you can use GarageBand on your phone, okay? I wouldn't recommend going the route of getting an audio interface like the IK Multimedia stuff. If it's specifically made to plug into your phone so that you can conveniently record music, it's a route you can go, but if you're wanting to, like I was talking about bottlenecks earlier, yeah, you're gonna be limited. So um, if you can spring it, have a dedicated computer, have a dedicated audio interface, and try to get at least like the artist version of this stuff. Logic is a great DAW as well. Pro Tools is very expensive. I tried Pro Tools out for about six months. It is a big learning curve. It's not as intuitive, or at least the version I was using, this was like three years ago. It's not as intuitive as PreSonus Studio One. A lot of the stuff in PreSonus Studio One involves click and drag. This may look overwhelming to you, but I can assure you as we create our own session in just a minute, We'll be able to get into the basics and you might have this aha moment of hey, that's pretty easy i could do that okay but point being use the daw that you have if you already have logic if you already have garage band and that's what you want to use if that's what you're comfortable with by all means do that i don't think that different softwares sound different if that makes sense uh fruit loops you know, if you're doing a lot of loop based stuff or virtual instruments type stuff, you may be more prone to use logic. Okay. But don't spend $400 on a software and then spend another $400 on a different one just because you saw a YouTuber doing it. Okay. If you're already using logic or Ableton live, I would not recommend you just jump over to studio one unless you really felt like, Hey, it's time for me to make a change. I'm not getting the results I want because the differences in sound are going to come down to the plugins that are available in the virtual instruments and processing. Okay. If you drag and drop a bunch of tracks from pro tools and then export those into studio one and export those into Ableton live, I think they will all sound the same until you start using plugins. So PreSona studio one, does their EQ sound just as good as pro tools EQ? I don't know. I don't have ears for that kind of thing, but that would be where the differences lie the plugins and the virtual instruments you have available.